excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KN being a sexy ninja in the place to be for a paper saber universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. Scissor me, daddy ass. <laughs> I just got done watching Rampage, June 23, 2023. We're still in Chicago. We cannot leave Chicago because Chicago is the place to be, apparently. <laughs> no, just jokes aside, uh, we got Excalibur, Jericho, Tony. On commentary, we got Forbidden Door, and then one more stop is Collision. Um, I, I got to sit down and get my get my CD, and this I w- woke up and had a big, nice breakfast. You want to know what my nice, beautiful, delicious breakfast was? It was made by my wife last night, spaghetti. Yes, I don't like breakfast. <laughs> I'm not a big breakfast fan. I'll eat breakfast. I'll, you know, once in a while, a good scrambled eggs and bacon and sausage. That all sounds good. But I, I'm a, I'm more of a lunch man. I'm a dinner man. You know, I, that that's who I am. Uh, so this morning, I had a nice big bowl of just spaghetti with some meatballs and a big piece of bread. And I was like, hey, 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 carve it up, baby. Hey, hey, hey. You're like, shut the fuck up and start talking about the show. <laughs> We started off with a banger. Uh, United Empire with Shr- Swerve uh, versus Chaos and Prince Nana. Great match. I I, I think, uh, you know, a little biased too because I'm I, I I'm a United Empire guy. Um, but this was a fun match. Uh, United Empire and Swerve for the win. Um, I, I would love to see more of this. I would love to uh, have more interact. You know, United Empire taking those six-man tag team championships off the embassy. Somebody please beat the embassy because... uh, And you know what? That's another thing I was thinking about. Like, Swerve had this thing going on, mogul affiliates or whatever. Then they're like, no, I've combined myself with the embassy and we're called the mogul embassy or embassy mogul. And they just don't keep any consistency with it whatsoever because he still wears sometimes the logo of the mogul, whatever. And then the embassy comes out as the embassy, but no, the, the mogul embassy. I'm like, I'm so confused. What are you? Tell me, are you mogul embassy? Are you the embassy? Are you the embassy mogul? My brain is not a tumor. You know, it, it, it just drives me batshit crazy sometimes. But great match. Random, random. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let's get that to it. <laughs> the Outcast Provo. Um, Tony to Willow Nightingale. I cannot. I, I I know I say that a lot. I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, might as well have some catchphrases for the show. And on t-shirts and stuff. Because I, I do say, I can't wait. You know, I'm so excited. That was awesome. Um, but Tony... Uh, Tony Storm and uh, Willow Nightingale is going to be fantastic. I I think, and I want Willow to win. I'm pulling for Willow to win so bad. So bad. Um, Adam Cole comes out, doesn't say a damn thing. MJF interrupts. Uh, He got Cole a match, you know, because now they're tag team partners. They got to be partners. And randomly, (laughs) I, I don't know where this show was going upon itself because this was not a good Great. There was, there's some fun matches, but there was this wasn't like a like a really kind of well thought out rampage because all of a sudden it's like Cole's like I got you a match at Forbidden Door. Tom Lawler. Oh, so okay, so Adam Cole's on the pay per view. Okay, that's Tom Lawler. Okay, cool. I I guess <laughs> that it just, and you know. It, and if it was, oh, man, it's going to be a good match. I was like, it's so fucking random. You know, it was like, okay. Then Tom uh, Lawler comes in and Royce Isaacs, they start attacking. My favorite part about this whole thing was MJF like, oh, I'll come save you, partner. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I need to take off my watch. Hold on, partner. I'm almost there. And then when he finally gets there, they leave the ring. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, partner. I tried. You know, <laughs> I was trying to save the day, you know. <laughs> that 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 just made that was the best part about the whole thing for me. You know, he's like, ah, 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 I'm got, oh damn, just missed him. 
All right, Adam Cole. Good luck, partner. You know, that I, that was my, my favorite parts of this segment. Um, next, the Acclaimed versus Squash Gang in this match. I, ugh. Why is the Acclaimed having versus Squash Gang matches? Like, that, I feel like that's become a thing, you know? <laughs> But it was like, boom, the, the, oh, wait, wait, I, I hold that back. It was the acclaimed with dad. It was a six-man tag team match. Claimed daddy ass versus the squash gang. They didn't even give them names. They didn't even give them a chance. Yeah, they got the upper hand on the acclaimed at the starting. Then they claimed whooped their ass, and there was just one random dude in the ring who, like, no offense, finally beat his ass, and the, the Jericho was like, wow, that match was fast. <laughs> like, you, you know, and all of that to get to this, oh, my God, scratching my nails on a fucking chalkboard of a segment not even a segment i don't know what the fuck this was but harley cameron comes out she's part of qtv crew everything like that she comes out with two randos with white masks on and she's like i'm gonna sing and but the best thing about that is like i didn't know her name was harley cameron (laughs) and like that crowd was like who are you chance you know started and booed her she got don callis booze like uh, you know just because i was like okay she's like i'm gonna sing and he goes ah! then like uh uh claim daddy ass played her like, ah you're terrible then she starts rapping and you know she like i she's like you guys need a, you guys need me to be part of your group and i'm like oh and then she does this weird like goes to anthony bowen she goes sweetie me and you you know blah 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 i'm like wait don't you know like i was like what the fuck is going on here then um i i would say anthony handled it very well when he goes hey i don't know if you can tell by my gear but I'm gay, <laughs> you know, and then the crowd started chanting, he's gay, he's gay, you know, <laughs> but this, this was all of this, all of this, you know, QT Marshall comes out, you know, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know where we're going with this, guys, I do not know, um, and, uh, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, John Morrison, sorry, Johnny TV kicks Billy, that was the big kicker. That was the big surprise out of this. And I was like, what a fucking waste of a, a, a day. Is this his debut? I, I believe he's showed up before here. We're calling him Johnny TV. You know, this man has had more names in the professional wrestling game than, <laughs> than a lot of people I know. But God damn. All of that to get Johnny TV. And, and that crowd was like, oh, cool. Got, they got more response of uh, Anthony Bowens being like, I'm gay. That was the like the biggest pop of the of this whole thing. You know, uh, Swerve uh, promo package. He's got a match for Collision. And we got round one of the Owen Hart tournament. Round one, Sky Blue versus Anna J.A.S. She's got Daddy Magic, Cool Hand Ange. J.A.S. is great. Not in this match. She was okay. And the starting at like the, the, they were trying to gel, but Sky Blue for the win. That's all that mattered. To be really honest, to be really really honest, I was like, I either want Sky Blue to go all the way, and I want Willow Nightingale to go all the way, and so they can have a great match between each other for this tournament. I think that would be like the end. I'll be all awesome. Now it's time. Oh wait, Punk package collision, because you know Punk has to be on this show as well. But not here. But he is mentioned. Yes, Punk. He's here. And he's going to... He has a big match on Collision. Which I am excited for. Um, now, it's time for the main event. Okay. Uh, Doki versus Jungle Boy. Doki is a part of Just Five Guys stable. Sonata's crew. You know, um, in a... I... No, the match was good. The match was the match was fun. This was a great match. Uh, 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 Doki was the shiner in this match. My thing was like, whoa, this crowd is booing Jungle Boy. Ch- you know, Chicago don't lie. Like, you know, and and Sonata came out after the match. That was awesome. Like, Sonata's here. Um, and uh, it, it, you know, that like he came out with that cha- championship, and I always forget how. The, the the title looks, you know, because it looks more winged and everything like that. I was like, man, can you go back to the older style? Like, 
<laughs> that's just me. But Sonata comes out, they go face to face. But I was just more or less like, oh, hmm. Huh. Why why are they booing Jungle Boy? Like, I understand we're cheering Sonata, but Jungle Boy's getting the boos? Are we getting tired of Jungle Boy or is it Jack Perry? You know, because they do that a lot on commentary. It's Jack Perry, Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy, Jack Perry. Perry, Perry Jack, Jungle Boy, Jack. Somebody, boy, in that ring. You know, I think he needs to find a new identity of, you know, either just being Jack Perry, going full in on that, or being Jungle Boy. Because I think the crowd there told me, like, hey, we're going to boo him. But he did um, Sonata's finish. Um, and I, I think these two will have a great match, but that was the biggest thing I took from it was when that crowd started booing Jungle Boy. I was like... Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So I, I honestly give this show a two. <laughs> uh, my two favorite matches was uh, um, I, I had three. Like the matches were great. The show and the consistency of what we were doing that QTV Harley shit was just awful. Um, United Empire Swerve versus Chaos uh, uh, was a lot of fun. Um, but you know, you know, I've. Because of these matches, I'm looking at them right now. Sky Blue, Anna J was great. Um, not not the level of Anna J level that she usually goes. Doki versus Jungle Boy, awesome. Awesome. United Empire Swerve versus Chaos, awesome. So I, I'll give the show a three out of five. I, I take back my my two. That's just being a little bit harsh, but I think it's just because that Harley segment was just awful. So three out of five. Tell me what you think of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share it with your grandma, share it with your grandma, share it with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. And as always, remember, get that New World Podcast t-shirt from our pro wrestling tea store. And also, the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Are you a kangaroo when you were a kid? Because I don't know if you can see my gear, lady. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs>